welcome to the stage, stand-up comedian, Uzzer Usman. What's up, how's it going? How you doing, everybody? You having fun? Salvador Dali was once asked, are you on drugs? To which he replied, I am the drug, take me. So in other words, yes. <laughs> totally on drugs. What kind of crazy things that to say? Some of you are kind of nervous right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and address the Al-Qaeda fit in the room. <laughs> I'm totally serious. I'm perfectly aware most of you have never seen somebody who looks like me smile before. <laughs> She laughed a little too hard. I was like, that's true, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, it's true. I'm a Muslim. I'm an American Muslim. I'm proud to be an American Muslim. That's right. That means I would die for this country by blowing myself up. <laughs> you, <laughs> you would not believe how many times I've been interviewed by the media and they ask me the same questions, like, so, do you perform for Muslim audiences? <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Really? <laughs> well, how's that? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> do they laugh? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> do Muslims laugh? <laughs> no, they just punch each other in the face. What kind of question? What kind of question? <laughs> They're people, what are you talking about? <laughs> so where are you from? <laughs> Chicago? <laughs> No, but where are you really from? <laughs> Skokie? <laughs> what kind of questions are they? <laughs> no, like, what are you? I'm a human being. <laughs> like, what's your nationality? Nationality is a function of citizenship. So American. I think you're trying to ask me about my ethnicity. You know the difference between ethnicity and nationality? <laughs> This is America. Learn the language or go home. <laughs> Thank you for clapping at that angry joke. I appreciate that. I'll solve the mystery for you. My parents are from India. That's right. And uh, I have a little tip for my white friends uh, in the audience. Uh, when you find out somebody's from India, please never do this. Please never say, oh my god, you're from India? I love Indian food. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Two reasons, two reasons. First of all, nobody cares about your ethnic dining preferences. <laughs> Unless you're making like a dating profile, nobody cares, nobody cares. All right, secondly, everybody loves Indian food. It's delicious. If you really think about it, Indian food is the reason America exists. No, I'm serious, like Italian explorers left Europe looking for Indian spices. Why? Indian food is delicious. <laughs> All of us are here right now because of Indian food. It's true. My dad is a typical Indian father, which means he's hilarious. He just has no idea. <laughs> he does the funniest stuff unintentionally. Like, for example, my dad has been living in America for 40 years, okay? He speaks English just fine, but it's a few expressions that give him away. Like, for example, in English we say, uh, what's wrong with it? Right, what's wrong with it? My dad says, what's wrong in it? <laughs> what's the matter? What happened? <laughs> what's wrong in it? <laughs> when I was about 13 years old, my dad tried to force me to buy girls' boots. <laughs> you can probably guess why. They were on sale. <laughs> True story, we're standing in J.C. Penny in the girls' shoe section. Just me and my dad, totally creepy. <laughs> come on, try it on, come on, try it. Try it on. I'm like, I don't want to wear girls. Come on, try it on. <laughs> What's the big deal, huh? What's wrong in it? What's wrong in it? <laughs> Every 10 minutes of arguing, I was like, me, I'm wrong in it. <laughs> my feet in those shoes, wrong in it. He always had the last lap, right? Around the same time, he was trying to force me to buy girls' boots. I was trying to convince him to buy me the Nike Air Jordans. 
I'm talking about the original. Remember the original Jordans, red, black, white, swoosh on the side, right, Jordan? I went to my dad, I was like, Abu. That's what I call my dad, shut up. <laughs> I said, Abu, can I get these shoes? How much does it cost? It's the first question an Indian father asks. It can never be cheap enough. Like, it's free. Are they gonna pay you? <laughs> like, can I get these shoes? How much does it cost? I was like, a hundred dollars. What? Hundred dollars for shoes? You crazy? Same shoe in India, five dollars. <laughs> That's a true story. You took me to India that summer, little hole in the wall store. This guy pulled out a pair of shoes, I swear to God, looked exactly like the real thing. Like red, black, white, swoosh on the side, Jordan. <laughs> Everything was exactly the same until I looked carefully at the tongue of the shoe and said, nice. Pulled out a pair of shoes that had three stripes at Abibas. <laughs> Tony Hill Finger, what? Doesn't even sound right, man. I'll leave you with this, man. I've been married for 16 years. I have four kids. <laughs> You're the only one who's happy about that fact. <laughs> I have four sons. I never lie to my children. I made a rule. I never lie to my boys. Gets me in trouble a lot, but I stick to my rules. And uh, it happened to me recently, I was talking to my little one, six years old, Bilal. I was like, yo, Bilal, can you please go in the basement and bring up a gallon of milk? He started crying right away. <laughs> I, I want to go downstairs. I said, why not? <laughs> I'm scared. I said, what are you scared of? He said, ghosts. <laughs> That's what a lying parent would have been like. Nothing to be scared of. No such thing as ghosts. <laughs> not me. I was like, that's why I don't want to go down there. <laughs> that was real, son. I love you, man. Thank you very much. <laughs>